Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank y'all so, so much for being here. I really appreciate it as always. If you've noticed already, I'm not wearing any lipstick and that's because we're gonna be trying out the new Maybelline Color Sensation Made For All lipsticks. I saw the advertisement a couple of days ago. It popped up on a YouTube channel that I was watching and they looked so interesting. Seven different shades and they're supposed to be universally flattering for 50 different skin tones. So I immediately went out to Walmart and I bought every single shade that they had available. I think this is all of them. So I got seven shades and all I've seen is seven. So. Um, just for a price comparison, at Walmart, I was able to get them for $4.68, but if you buy them online on Amazon, you can get them from $5.50 all the way up to $7.49. At CVS, you can buy them for $7.49, and at Target, you can find them for $5.99. So if you don't have a Target or a Walmart near you, try at CVS, try at Walgreens, try on Amazon and you'll be able to track these down and get them to your door in no time. In the advertisement, they talked about being universally flattering for 50 different skin tones, but they also talked about the special edition caps. So this is what they all look like, and they're supposed to have all special edition caps so you could easily find them in your collection, and you could also find them easily whenever you're shopping. And as I mentioned before, they've only come out with seven shades right now, but they only have two separate finishes. So they have six, satins and only one matte shade. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's get into the lip swatches. I'm gonna kind of briefly go through the colors really quick and I'm gonna do it in numerical order. It's just easier for me and my like Capricorn brain. So that's what we're gonna do. The first shade is 370 and this is called Spice For Me. And it's a very pretty terracotta color. Right off the bat, I would say that I really like this color. It's not a color that I would choose for myself by any means, especially going into springtime, but I think with the right makeup, with the right season, this color would be super, super cool and really pretty. The texture is very comfortable. It's very smooth, it's very nourishing. I didn't have any kind of problems putting it on. As you can see on camera, the formula is a little bit more on the glossy side than a satin, which it doesn't really bother me. I kind of like the finish and I like the color. The texture and the formula is very comfortable. It's very moisturizing. I could see myself wearing this all day without any problems. It won't cause like any dryness or anything like that. And yeah, I really like this formula. I would say it's a very nice co color. It's very comfortable, very moisturizing, and I like it. The next shade is 373, and this is mauve for me, which is pretty self-explanatory. It's a very mauve, neutral, toned color. So right off the bat, I can say that this one kind of clung to a dry patch that I have right here. It's not that big of a deal and I've, I had it there already. The other color didn't really cling to it as much as this one did, but maybe just kind of raking it a couple of times kind of pulled it up. But yeah, this color is very flattering. It's very pretty. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's just right there in between. And I think this would also be universally flattering for a lot of different skin tones. So uh, it's also very comfortable. I don't find this one is as glossy as the other one it might be actually true satin which i appreciate so yeah this is number 373 mauve for me the next shade is 376 and this is called pink for me and it's kind of a mauvey slash bubblegum pink color it's very pretty okay i'm calling it right now and i'm gonna say that this color is gonna be my favorite out of the bunch this pink, was it called, pink for me, is just so pretty. It's not too warm, it's not too cool, it's not too pink, it's not over the top, it's just perfectly in the middle. It's a perfect neutral pink, and I think that this would look so pretty on so many different skin tones. Once again, they hit the nail on the head, and I really like that. Um, it doesn't make my teeth look yellow. I forgot to mention that the first color, number 370 Spice for me, kind of made my teeth look a little bit more yellow. The formula didn't cling uh, to any dry spots. It's very satin. It's not quite matte, but it's not quite glossy. And I just love the formula of this one. It just looks really pretty. And what more can I say? 
I love it. Starting with the fuchsias, this is 379 and this is fuchsia for me. It's a very, very pretty bright color. Okay, I love this color, y'all. It looks so good. This was the shade 379 fuchsia for me. And I'm just going to tell you, I don't know what it is, but online it looks a lot more bright than what it does in person. In person, it just looks very wearable. It's a little bit more muted, a little bit more neutral. And online, it looks very like kapow. Why does it keep doing that? The formula has been great across the board. I love the way it feels. When I push my lips together, it's just very, very comfortable. It does make my teeth look a little bit on the yellow side, but that could just be my teeth. <laughs> so, but yeah, fuchsia for me, I love it. I think it's so pretty. Uh, it goes on a little bit more sheer than the other shades. So just keep that in mind. But I think that was on purpose because it is more muted. So I love this color. I think it's pretty. Y'all gonna be seeing me wear this color a lot more on camera for sure. After that is 382 and this is matte red for me. Look at that pretty color. Okay, this is the red that I have been looking for all of my life. This is the most vibrant, flattering, most beautiful red I have ever seen in my life. And that's it. I just look at that color. I'm just going to say it. Holy Grail red shade right here. And even though they say that this is a matte shade, it doesn't feel matte on the lips. It feels very like luxurious and smooth and comfortable. It just looks so pretty. I mean, I'll give you a close up. Sorry the way that it looks like right here. That's just because the others stained my lips. But this color is so good. <laughs> I just don't know what to say. 385, this is ruby for me. This is a very, very bright satiny ruby color. So this is what ruby for me looks like. And I still prefer the matte red for me over this color. The really only difference is that this one is a little bit more glossy than the other one. Um, it's a little bit more satin and it is still very pretty. I wouldn't say that it pulls pink necessarily. My lip line is just going crazy. So please, please excuse that. But this is what it looks like. The formula feels once again, so beautiful, so luxurious, so comfortable. And yeah, this color is gorgeous. So really and truly, this is going to be a, a preference between whether you like matte formulas or whether you like like a satin or gloss formula. And finally, it's number 388. And this is plum for me. And this is a very pretty, like plummy red. Once again, I'm going to apologize for my wonky looking lips. My application just started going all over the place. I was trying to get it a little bit better, but my lips are so stained and getting so chapped that they're just kind of like blowing up and kind of getting all wonky. So I apologize for that. But these colors, I ain't gonna lie, I'm very impressed. And I bought these with my own money, with my own bank account. I am not sponsored. I am not in cahoots. I am not collaborating or cooperating with Maybelline or any other brand for that matter. I'm just have, here to say that these are very good lipsticks. To have seven consecutive lipsticks look really good on me, that is a win. And I'm not even kidding, that never happens. Okay, so I've neutraled out my lips so I can apply my favorite color. This is the red matte for me. This is the color that I'm gonna be wearing in the thumbnail. So y'all will know that's what it's gonna be. So the question is, do I recommend you trying out these lipsticks? And I would say absolutely 100% try them out. I think that they are so pretty, universally flattering, very comfortable, and I think that y'all will love them. So that's going to do it for this Maybelline Color Sensation Made For All lipstick review. I hope y'all found it helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, I appreciate y'all so much. We made it to 1,200 subscribers. That is just mind-blowing. So yeah, thank y'all, each and every one of you. I hope y'all are having a fantastic day, no matter where you are in the world, and I'll be seeing y'all very, very soon. 
Bye. Bye.